Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days Designs, and I'm back with another sewing project. Today we're making a quilted Christmas stocking using fabric scraps and strips. Make one for everyone in the family using different colors. This sewing project uses the quilt as you go method and is great for beginners. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or stop by the blog at debsdays.com and check out my Etsy shop, Deb's Days Designs. That's where you'll find a digital version of this project. You can download it at home and print out the entire pattern. It has the materials list and cutting measurements, step-by-step -step written instructions, color photos, and the printable template. Or, to save paper, just read through the directions on your device and then print out just the template page. All right, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies for this project, you'll need fabric strips. Since this is truly a scrap fabric project, I sewed my fabric scraps together to make longer strips. A lining fabric, fabric for the cuff, fabric for the hanging loop, cotton batting, optional pinking shears, and the printable template. First, cut out templates A and B and tape them together. Place the template on the batting with the toe facing to the right and cut it out about a half inch outside the template. Mark the point on the batting above the toe where the templates meet. Flip the template over so the toe points to the left on the batting and cut out about half an inch outside the template. Mark the point on the batting above the toe where the two templates meet. On top of the piece of batting with the toe pointing to the right, place a fabric strip with the right side of the fabric facing up diagonally from the top left corner to the middle of the marking. Place another fabric strip on top with the right side of the fabric facing down. Align the raw edges on the long sides of the strip and pin them in place. Stitch along the long edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. And press it open. Place another strip on top of the last strip, right sides facing each other. Stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance. Press it open. Continue adding and sewing strips until you reach the end of the batting. Place a strip on top of your first strip with the right sides facing. Since these next few strips will be the longest ones, I recommend pinning them before stitching them to limit shifting. Stitch again using a quarter inch seam allowance. Press it open. Continue adding and sewing strips until you reach the end of the batting. On top of the piece of batting with the toe pointing to the left, place a fabric strip with the right side of the fabric facing up diagonally from the right corner to the middle of the marking. Place another fabric strip on top with the right side of the fabric facing down. Align the right edges on the long side of the strips and stitch along the edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. Press it open. Continue adding and sewing strips until you reach the end of the batting. Place a strip on top of your first strip with the right sides of the fabric facing down. Stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance. Press it open and continue the same process until you reach the end of the batting. Flip the batting over and trim away the excess ends of the strips. Do the same for the other quilted piece. Flip the pieces right side up and use the template to trim the stockings to match it. You'll now have one stocking piece facing left and one facing right. Add additional quilting if desired. Place the lining fabric with the right sides facing each other. Place the template on top and cut out two lining pieces. Place the quilted pieces together with the right sides facing. Stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance around the entire piece, leaving the top open. And do the same with the lining pieces. Be sure to take your time on the curves. To reduce bulk, use pinking shears to trim between the stitching lines and the edge of the fabric pieces. Turn the quilted piece right side out and press it. Do not turn the lining piece right side out. Place the lining fabric inside the quilted stocking piece. Align the raw edges and the seams at the top and use fabric clips or pins to hold it in place. Cut out the cuff fabric using the template or your rotary cutter and ruler. Place the fabric with the right side of the fabric facing up. 
fold the fabric in half so the shorter ends meet and stitch along the edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. Turn the piece right side out so the raw unstitched edges meet and form a cuff. To make the loop, fold the fabric strip in half lengthwise with the wrong sides of the fabric facing each other and press it to make a crease. Open it back up and fold one side to the midpoint crease and press it and fold the other side to the midpoint crease and press it. Fold the entire piece over and press it. Top stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edge. Fold the strip in half to make a loop. Place the raw edges of the loop inside the stocking at the seam on the heel side of the stocking. Make sure the loop is facing down into the stocking and baste it in place. Place the cuff inside the stocking with the fold down and the raw edges at the top. Match the raw edges with the lining and main fabric's raw edges and seams. Use fabric clips or pins to hold it in place. Secure the cuff to the main and lining fabrics by stitching all around the top of the stocking using a half inch seam allowance. To reduce bulk, use scissors or pinking shears to trim between the stitching line and the edge of the fabric. Turn the cuff right side out and pull on the loop and adjust the cuff as needed. And just like that, you used up a lot of your fabric scraps and made some fun Christmas stockings for the entire family. See you next time with another project.